Hello everybody and welcome back to Sonic Colors. Last time we completed World 1 and saw something drilling into Eggman's tower. And yeah, and as you can see, I unfortunately had a couple of failed recordings. So I'm not as blind as I was during World 1. So now I have to go back to World 2. And redeem myself because I are smart and meet recordings fail. So yeah, I, I've seen all of this world, but don't worry. I'll, I'll probably still die a couple of times to make up for it. Yeah, as you can see, I did die a couple of times because I'm on one life. Trust me, you do not want to know how I got to one life. Anywho, as for the first section, we have these two guys. They have to avoid their lasers. And as you can see, the rings are always in front of them. And, yeah, we have to avoid them. And then they stupidly crash into that thing like idiots. Because, you know, that's very smart. Ugh, whoa. Heh <laughs> Yeah, I could have died there, but luckily I didn't. And loop de loop and scoop de doop or something. And he wall jumps off those. Yeah, that's actually a move we have. A wall jumping move. I don't know where I can show it off though. Like. Oh, also, we're getting a new power up here. Yeah, it's kind of like a blue pea switch from Super Mario World. Hmm, I wonder why. Boom. And that could- Ow! Yeah, that out them. Which is kind of correct. In a way. And it can also kill enemies. Really, really easily. That unlocked that. Which we can use this elevator for. Okay. Then here's another elevator. We have to kill that guy. And watch out for that bomb guy. Hit this button up here, which is kind of hidden. Yes, I nearly. Okay. Yes, we can move. We kind of knew this from the 3D falling sections. Oh, wait, have we? No, this is the first 3D falling section we've had. Yeah, I kind of spoiled that. And then we have to go on to this. Let me see. If I remember correctly, there's going to be more of those robots. No, these is diff. Di these are different. This is different. We have to tap, go against these guys and kill them. And also, by using the B button, we can dash into them and kill them really easily. Come on, die, die, and we can hold it for an even. Pick our boost. And wow, the music sounds really different. Ha! Take that. Die! Road Rage! What's the, this turned into? Grand Theft Auto? Jeez. Whoa. Epic. Well, at least that other world isn't spoiled for me, so, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we could've got crushed in there. Whee! And I wanted to go over here. Yeah, I kinda ha like how he just dropped so suddenly. Okay, here's another blue wisp. That I have to use here. Yeah, we kinda know this. You na- You- Damn navigator telling us when we die, when we can die, and when we can't die. You. And I won't go for that bonus because I've died there a couple of times. More air shooting. Button. Come on. Yeah, those things can crush us, so it's. Duh, duh, duh. So, yeah, it's best to do the duh. And I like how they slowly come down. And then they rise fastly up. And here we can do this and get this, which lands us up here, or you can't be crushed. 
And using the blue wisp again, we can get another one, making this area really easy. And there's also rings up here. Special and a special bonus because we've got 200 rings. Yeah, unlike in other Sonic games, when you don't when you get 100 rings, you don't get a one up. I find that odd. Then again, I guess they didn't want to make it too easy for getting lives. I mean, like, Sonic Sonic 4 Episode 1, I heard someone got up to 250 lives. And here, here's the live now since I got A rank, because I played this level before, unfortunately. Not much of a blind run when you know what's coming, eh? And here to the next level. Yeah, I'm so I'm really sorry, but I'm not just going to skip over this world because that would be kind of stupid. Uh, this has happened before, but what? Excuse me. That's something I have to ask. Why is it always at the start of a Let's Play series of mine that I always run into technical difficulties? Like, it's taken me about what? About nine months to even get to Chapter 7 of Super Paper Mario. Like, that's crazy. Here we go over here. Oh, actually I don't want to go over there because it's dangerous. And I'm not going for the secrets because it's a blind let's play. And those bombs take forever to explode. Da 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 I should stop singing now because it's making my voice sound weird. Yes. Oh god! 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 I forgot about this. Oh wait, that's just to get that. Never mind. And we can use it twice in twice in a row. And we could keep it up by getting more. Peace, which time go? At least that's what I would call this. Ugh. Oh, use the slamming thing here. Yeah, I never thought about this. Like, I kept getting hit by this guy, and I didn't know how to get past him without getting hit. But of course, stupidly, I did not use the blue P switch thing, as I will call it forever. The blue wisp. Yeah, those rings definitely contributed to my uh, score. Or something. On to the next level, Act 3 of Starlight Carnival. And it's more time for more high-speed running antics! Until we get here. And this is the level I died a bajillion times on. Yeah. Oh yeah, and if you slam down onto it when you're jumping, because you can do that, although we know this right now, um... We knew this right. We know this. Uh, you can jump higher on those trampoline things. In fact, we want a couple of those rings for randomness. Let's slide in here. And we can, you know, skip a little bit of that section, making this easier. Yeah, this level's kind of hard. A little bit. It's short, but it's hard. So, like, it has long, long but easy levels, and then short but hard levels. Yeah, as it, it's telling us we can die here because the, that's what the navigator does. It also has helpful bubbles to tell you what, you know, uh, certain items do. Which I want to show off because I'm a total noob at this game. I, like, navigators really, if you're for, like, beginning, because it will, because those, you know, the things that tell you what the power up, power ups do, the wisps. Do don't appear in without the navigator off. So I guess the navigator would be counted as your mode selection or something. Although it's not really. I mean, the game doesn't get harder. It's just you don't get information. thus making the game harder. Yes, lawn explanation is lawn. I'm not going for those rings because it's suicide. And trust me, kitties, suicide isn't good. Yes. Especially in a Sonic game, because you get very few lives. However, I will be going for that life. 
because I want lives. Oh god, go, no. Of course, once as soon as I get a life, I die. I'll jump cut. Hey, look, the life's still there. Yeah. Apparently, lives regenerate, and of course, I can't get it. Because that would be stupid, and I would die. The Yes, the The death of Sonic. Because of this level is kind of hard. And there's the gold ring. Wait, is there a secret here? No, apparently not. Whee! Gold ring. <sighs> and I don't think I'm going to get rank A. Maybe not even rank G. Yeah, I didn't get rank B. So let's just continue. Okay, this is Act 4, this is Act 5, and this is Act 6. So, yeah, I could go straight to the boss, but that would be stupid because you have to go through Act 5 and Act 6. It's not like a secret unlockable or something. Because you need the Wisp to get through stuff. We And these are the spinning balls of doom, as I like to call them. What would you call them? I mean, like, I don't know their official name, but how would you be able to name them? I mean, they're so random and, like, out of place, I I would say. These guys aren't, these guys aren't though. And we can... Yeah, and this one goes crazy. Let's show off the wall jump, like I showed off earlier. Uh, you just have to old against the wall like whether whether what like I'm using the classic controller so I have to hold the control stick against the um, edge of the wall and then press a and then I can wall jump it's kind of tricky to actually do it unlike you know in Mario because in Mario the controls are so easy to understand because everybody loves Mario including myself well not the way some of you might be thinking. I like it. The, I like the Mario games. And a very short level wanting you for to go back for the secrets. Whoa. Yeah, I... And rank C. Very disappointing, isn't it? Okay, on to Act 5. And this isn't taking as much time as it did last time. Because, of course, I'm not blind. Yay, Lee. Not yay. I might do a bit of World 3, actually, to make up for my, me not being blind in this world. Yes. And we'll need those. I think I can actually catch up to them. No, I can't. I don't think I can, anyways. <laughs> Damn, I lost all my rings. Which isn't good. Rings. Rings, glorious rings. Mouth watering ringness. I've sung this song before, but who cares? Rings, rings, glorious rings, wonderful rings, awesome rings. That's probably going to be something I'll be saying in all of my Sonic playthroughs if I ever do a Sonic game again. I haven't played a lot of Sonic games. Like, I have the Sonic Maker Collection Plus, but I misplaced it somewhere. Uh, one day I might be able to find it. I doubt it, but... Yeah. I have it for my PC. My laptop, because... Which is what I use to record. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, I tried using a controller with it. And, of course, it, you know, glitched up and Sonic would keep going left. But you we have to remember, viewers, in a Sonic game, you always go... You always die. No, you always go right in a Sonic game. Not really, but... Eh, yeah, that's what some people think. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to wall jump. Since I'm awesome! Although we have to use it here. No, 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 very annoying, very annoying. Um, this level isn't too hard, but I died. Of course! I died. 
Watch out for those bomb things. They can be a real pain at the neck. And you can use...